subject for years, and I think it would behoove us to go to them and ask them what techniques they're using. Because remember, we've got to do this without damaging anybody. Oh. Okay. The best man to consult on the subject works at Stanford University. Your aches and spasms are his bread and butter. Dr. Chu, how is it you know so much about pain? Well, I'm an anesthesiologist, but I'm also a pain researcher. And I have a lab here at Stanford where I work on discovering new therapies and treatments for pain. Uh, in order to do that work, I need to be able to reliably induce pain in my patients. With Dr. Chu's help, we'll road test four kinds of uh, clinical torture to find out the best one for testing the myths. They uh, probably won't cause any real damage. First up is heat. This little black box here is actually a precisely controllable heater which soon will strap to Jamie's arm and increase the heat until he can't stand it anymore. What could be better than that? Hi, Jamie. Hello. Jamie's told that his arm will get steadily hotter over the next 60 seconds or until he can't stand it no more. So here's the button that you'll press. This goes in your right hand. So either red button will turn off the heat immediately. Okay. Abby also requests that he speaks out the instant he first feels real pain. And that would qualify as pain. Ow. But this is Jamie we're watching. A man so tough, he occasionally rusts. So that maxed out. <laughs> well, thank you. That was fine. <laughs> so here's the question for our man of steel. Is this what we're shopping for? I have to say that was quite painful and it did leave a mark whether we want to subject a bunch of people